Shalom, Israel. I'm trying to make this sweet and quick. But first and foremost, I'm going to give all praise to the Most High, Yahweh, Bashim, Shai, Bashim, Rakaka, God. Yahweh is the Most High God, and Yahweh Shai is who the world, and he called Jesus Christ. And of course, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders, the great millstone who rule the wealth of the Spirit, teaching his word and believing his word to the best of their ability. I ask that you continue to put on a spirit to endure. Mighty Shalom to the hopeful elect got a four corners of the earth in and out of congregations. As teaching his word and believing his words to the best of your ability, Lord willing, the most high increase you in his ministry. All right? And for the wives and single sisters, Shalom. Lord willing, you can continue to be believers in his word and continue to pursue to be a virtuous and loving and silent wife. And of course, I want to say, uh, Lord willing, the most high have mercy on other brothers and sisters that's not in faith. Um, I'm at work. And we bring these scriptures, this scripture I'm about to bring out all the time. And it just, you know, brothers, we were just talking about how my job is is easy, to be honest. You know, but they do pay me because it's a, an important job, you know, dealing with newspaper. And I've seen, since I've been here for like the past two, three months, you know, I praise to the most high for me having a brother, uh, Yaramayan, that you know, uh, help me get into this thing. Um, I've seen a lot of people quit because they're like, nah, this is too much. Or this job is not too much. It's just brothers is lazy. Even when the job is easy, brothers left a job, left this job to go to something that's probably making you do way more and they got paid way less. 300 a week and you're doing, you look like you're working for $60. <laughs> it's a lot, but you get paid. They look like you got paid for only 30 hours, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I understand that what I was living before I got in this truth, like I was ungrateful. I was just living like it was my best life, you know what I'm saying? But I was just trying to get money just to impress women. That was it. Get fresh, impress women, and do it all over again. That's it. Wasn't even really saving, wasn't stacking, wasn't build buying a house wasn't buying a car I, man i was riding a bike <laughs> you know what i'm saying and you understand how grateful it is but even me waking up how easy the job is you know uh waking up for esau i mean waking up to work for esau you know you know i'm gonna just bring this out this is limitation chapter five verse five it says our necks are under persecution we labor and have no rest. We labor, have no rest. Our next is under persecution day and night, right? Our next is under persecution day and night. We have no rest, right? It's a verse that I want to go to straight. Um, I'm going to just go to it and then I'll go to the other one. This is Deuteronomy 28 48. And if you've been reading, these are simple, basic scriptures. Bringing it out because all oh, praise to the most high that I am working, right? But even me working, it allows me to see the scriptures for what they is. You know what I'm saying? How I really know I'm Israel when, you know, certain things that I see, like getting persecuted, your family, uh, your, some of your friends don't like you. You know, and I started thinking of the scriptures, going to the highways and byways, thinking of the scriptures, right? The persecution, you know, working hard, working your ass off. I think of scriptures. Deuteronomy 28, 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemy, which Yahweh shall send against thee, and in hunger and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in one of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Right? The Lord, uh, the Lord sent these nations upon us. Esau, he sent him upon you, right? For hunger, thirst, and nakedness. Everything, everything I'm getting. Man, it's all Esau. My clothes I got on me, not from a Jake. Even if I get it from Jake, Jake got it from Esau. Clothes, food, drink, right? Hunger, thirst, and nakedness. We got to go to this mother sucker. Even when you think you're doing it on your own, you still going through it. I got my own garden. Man, you, you growing that on the land that he took from you. He can take you from your house. You know what I'm saying? Like everything we doing here has no value, like the value of praising Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, right? Praising Yahweh 
Bahashim Yahushai. I think it's Acts, the third chapter, where we brought on that kid, right? The man asked, how can I be saved? You know, believe in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai and praise him, right? Praise Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, right? Verse 49, it says, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as an eagle flieth, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Right. And I'm just saying it again. This is a basic, basic scripture, uh, basic level of understanding, because we're living in a place where you can fully see in scriptures who you are. I mean, if you're going through it, I'm not just saying a normal Edomite. Oh, my goodness. I'm suffering. I'm the, I'm the Israelites. We, I'm talking about the whole volume of the scriptures fall into us. man. When we look at ants. And then we look at our people, like I just said, a brother just quit. This job is easy peasy for the 600 a week, 500, 700 a week. You're not getting under 500, depending on uh, uh, if you get in a tip agency. But if you hire uh, your check, damn, there ain't nowhere under 600. And if you got a wife or a husband at home and they doing their part, you know, you're going to be able to save, put bread aside, be able to do things that you need, get things in order through the spirit. You're going to be having food, canned goods in your house and shit might hit the fan and the Lord covers you, man. And that's what I look at this because I had other jobs planned up, but the Lord gave me a job close to my house, right? The pay is, you know, immaculate. I can help both of my ladies, let alone both of my ladies even work. You know what I'm saying? And it just, it helps us to not stress in the moment where we at now, but double up our faith because the Lord could take all of this, right? And I always got to think of the rich man. I got to think of Joe because, and my, my, my brother, my big brother, he might make like 1100 a week. I'm going to be honest, the flesh, I'm not ready for that. I'm not ready to make that type of bread weekly because uh, with more money, sometimes come problems, let alone I have to know. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a weak man, you know, uh, in the flesh, you know, when it comes to money, uh, I'm a type, ain't nothing wrong with buying clothes, it's not a sin, you know, buying things that you, you want and all of that, but I'm getting older now, you know what I'm saying, so in my mind, you know, I want to do things that I've never done, you know, build credit, save, you know, why I can't, you know, build, build with my wife in a, 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 a financial level, not to be wealthy, but to be able to take care of certain things, buying clothes for my kids, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, making sure we got food, because uh, when we had a storm last year, you know, we had food, but it, we ran, we were running out, but it's like we couldn't go nowhere in the storm, you know? So um, things that we have, man, you should definitely be thankful, but even more, coming to work every day, being on time, Knowing this bullshit at six in the morning at four or six to six, you know, it's tired and it's more niggas. You know what I'm saying? I know that, you know, um, being in this captivity, the Lord don't want us to think about ourselves. Right. I understand we got to be humble. and We got to uh, talk to you about you know, talk of them, think of them. Right. Going back to limitations, five, verse five. Our necks are under persecution. We labor and have no rest. Right? We're laboring for these nations. Right? When you look at limitations 4 and 19, our persecutors are swifter than the eagles of the heaven. They pursued us upon the mountains. They laid waste us in the wilderness. Right. And it's another verse. You have to know that's why cops, they so smooth because like Edomite cops, Jake, too, because they get trained. But Edomite are really good. You know, uh, they even wait in little uh, hiding spots just so that they can creep upon you. But it's really uh, the, the, the unrighteous. You know, they always get caught. But you have to know. Uh, uh, our persecutors don't care for young or old. I believe that's Deuteronomy 28, 51, right? So they don't, they don't, they don't care. But it says our persecutors are swifter than the eagles of heaven. They're swift. 
This is why Sirach 12 and 10, you should never trust thy enemies. Eventually, he's going to uh, re renege on whatever he made a deal with you or whatever he said. Yo, it's just like we were just saying at work. Brother just said this. You could be working at a tip agency, right? And they can either they can either want you, they don't hire you yet, but they work you through the whole season, then they let you go. But they're saying that they're going to hire you or they need you. We need workers. We hire them. Or they hire you. They give you these bonuses. They have you working during the holidays because that's when it's super busy. When they, as soon as we get to like the end of January, that February, that that the, the end of December, January come, getting close to February, the Super Bowl and all of that, they gonna let brothers go. And you be like, man, I did. and they just gonna say, man, we're getting slow. We're just getting laid off. And then when they speed back up, they use that. You know what? You used to work here before. They can get you back in here faster. That's what this is what they do, bro. Our prosecutors are swiffer, and you are a dollar to them. If you're not making money, I highly doubt you're gonna have value in this society, right? And that's the thing for myself. Um, this is why I always say: make the money, don't let the money make you. If you let the money make you, is when. Uh, now we start flexing. And I'm not saying flexing because now you got a Mercedes Benz. Flexing on how uh, you start getting more lazy, start getting more comfortable, right? Then you start doing things a little lefty at work. And it's, it's, not, it's not wise to be lazy at work. It's not uh, wise to uh, get proud at work, right? Then next thing you know, brothers start slipping, and now they smoking a blunt at work, right? Even though smoking is fine, but they'll do it in the open. You know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of us get more money. And then it's like niggas become less wise, right? We are in this place to really uh, uh, move in the spirit, right? That's why you should always be observing what's going on around you. But only the, the, the elect is going to know. Right. It doesn't matter what level you are in this thing. Only the elect is going to understand that. You know what I'm saying? This is not a game. Right. People are not just going to think about fun, 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 fun. People going to really come and serve, serve you how Bashim Al Shai and actually be serious. You know, just like how in my job I'm at on break right now. Then I get a, a 30 minute. Then I get another 15 minute. In this ministry, the only time you get break is when you sleep. You know, there's no other break for Yahweh Shem Al Shai. When you're serious about this, it's no break. You know, so, um, Lord willing, this was edifying, but most likely it was motivating to, for you to be thankful. You know what I'm saying? Actually, let me get this verse real quick. And I, I got to go because uh, my break is over. But I'm going to get this one in 1 Thessalonians 5 and 18. It says, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of the Most High. In Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, concerning you. Right? Give thanks. And to know that I'm going through this, this freaking dumbass plantation work. Right? Guess what? I'm going to be thankful because in the times that we in, inflations and all of that. I'm able to provide, right? I'm able to uh, care for the needs of my household or what my ladies need, let alone I'm able to do something for my damn self, right? And Yahweh Shemal Shai deserves that praise, right? He deserves that, right? Because he could have gave me a McDonald's, some doo-doo-ass job, but he gave me something that I'm still working, I'm getting paid, but it's more, more easy, more laid back. But I'll praise to the most high, how about you, Mount Shai? I'm not better than you. You're not better than me. But hey, when you when you can see the Lord dealing with you, hey, the best thing you can do is keep showing the Lord that you appreciate what he's doing. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom, Kwame Yisrael.